Hi and welcome to another episode of Fully Charged, this time coming from Senex LCV 2015, LCV, low carbon vehicle. There's an enormous amount of cars here. What I'm sitting in at the moment is amazing. I'm not allowed to drive it. This is an experimental concept car from Range Rover. This is the Range Rover Evoque Pure Electric. I've just seen it going along. It's a really nice looking car. And uh, this is really where you can see the cars that will be coming into the market in the next two to five years. There's some amazing stuff here. Have a look. In terms of what we've done is we've come up with a concept that is effectively transmission and engine agnostic. Let's right, put that so you put it in. in any vehicle effectively. Correct, right. so it effectively it could be SUVs, it could be sedans, but it, it doesn't constrain us to what the engine is or right. what the transmission right. needs to be. But you use the term electric machine, but when you say that, would, would I know that as an electric motor? Yeah, effectively, right. effectively when I refer to electric machine, I mean it's, it's a motor generator. Right. So effectively it does two things, it gives you the uh, electric propulsion to, for, uh, for traction yeah. and drive, and, and also the major part of it, which uh, is, is extremely important, is its recuperation. Yeah. And, and where this particular module benefits is, uh, it allows us to disconnect the engine. Right. So on the plug-in, you can disconnect the engine. You don't get all the, the, the loads or the need to drive the engine yeah. uh, when you're not fueling the engine. You can switch the engine off and you can drive fully, fully for the plug-in in full yeah. electric. Yeah. The base down is a normal, a normal 5GD right. uh, series car yeah. and uh, we integrate the new components and the big aim was uh, to build up a big car with no um, restrictions for the customer. Right. Full seated, no um, So you haven't, you haven't had to have suddenly no seats uh, in the back because you know, of a tank, right, yeah. it all fits in there. Presum and presumably also you were trying to achieve the same kind of levels of performance that BMW is well known for. So yes. it's, it's, I'm, I'm guessing it's not a slow hydrogen fuel cell No, car. no, no. <laughs> uh, our aim was um, um, acceleration and high speed uh, like a normal normal car, the high speed is around about 180 kilometers right. and the acceleration from um, zero to uh, 100 kilometer or less than nine seconds. Right, right, so it's pretty swift. Yes. Yeah. In the long term aim of BMW, do you think, is this something that you think you, you'll be developing further and, go, and putting into production at some yes, point? Yes, yes. Um, uh, about the new, new things with the cooperation with Toyota we make, it's right. uh, the full cell in cooperation with Toyota is right. inside this car, uh, with the new tank, right. Hero Capest. We think it will be in a good alternative for the future for long distance. Right. Not for small right. cars, but for big par oh, car right. parks. So you think it's, get, it, it's more for larger vehicles yeah. that it's more suitable yeah. for? In this configuration with this car and this tank inside, we have a range of around about 700 kilometers. Right. Oh, I see. So yeah. very considerable yeah. range for that. People think, oh, you've got to get hydrogen from either fossil fuels or from electrolysis, mm -hmm. but there's actually many ways of mm -hmm. producing the hydrogen. On this, this point, it's uh, when you see the, the situation in, in Germany, perhaps, um, we uh, build up many, many uh, electric electricity with the wind or solar, right. and we have the problem in Germany for the whole day, got, yes. because uh, what will we do in the future with such energy yeah. for the whole day? And uh, hydrogen is one possibility uh, to uh, uh, use the electricity to produce hydrogen right. for yeah. the future. Yeah. Next I had a go in the Delta E4 Coupe, a car I've driven many times before, but this was the first time in a four-wheel drive configuration, with four motors driving all four wheels independently. Yeah, because my memory of this vehicle is fairly distant because it was quite a long yes. time ago but it really feels the steering it just feels Very really tiring. different yeah and we can only go 55 unless we have helmets yeah. <laughs> oh my god oh, i see i've been really ginger with the <laughs> throttle it, it can move quite rapidly <laughs> nathan sitting in the back adjusted the controls to give more regenerative braking so it will, oh I see, yeah, oh, oh, right. oh, yeah. oh it's severe. That is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that is not touching the brake. Yeah. Wow, that is extraordinary. And a big part of what we're doing is, is trying to understand how people cope with different levels yes. of regen braking yeah. just off lift off. So rather than going anywhere near the brake pedal, can people cope with variable regen? Yes. Do you want to be able to set it yourself? Does it want to adjust it automatically? It's really trying to understand 
what, what strategies there are. Because you certainly, I mean, as an electric car driver now, I like regen, which means I yeah. barely use the brakes. You know, you, you really only use them in an emergency, you know, or, or the final, you know, 10 miles an hour to, oh my God, oh my God. I'm going to try that again, hang on. <laughs> low, low speed, it's around. That feels like I'm pressing the brake. That is extraordinary. Yeah. Wow. But in reality, if you're around town, that would probably that would be, be too that much. That would be too much, yeah. yeah. Well, clearly, the brake lights come on anyway, so right. you, you know you get the warning to the car yeah. behind. So. so just to explain to my numpty brain, that you're basically slowing down the wheels on this side Providing or speeding up the wheels on that side, and you, you push the car it, over. It's a way. torque rather than a speed thing. So right. Rotation of force of force on the yeah. tyre. Right. Um, on Purely, it's one, one's driving forward and one's almost driving backwards. So one's braking and one's driving. So it, it creates a turning right. turning force on the, on the vehicle as a whole. Senex is an amazing exhibition to visit. The technology on display is mind-boggling. The developments in battery and hydrogen tech have leapt ahead in the past few years. And we're clearly going to be seeing a lot more of this stuff in the very near future.